Now, Ganoderma lucidum is an adaptogen. Now, adaptogens is a very an interesting arena that I've become uh, one of the country's specialists in in recent years. And it was uh, the, the, uh, the word adaptogen really comes from Russian sources. Uh, the the uh, very uh, highly decorated Soviet Academy of Sciences scientist, Dr. Israel Iskovich Breckman, in the early 1950s, uh, discovered uh, this rare group of plants and substances. In his case, it was Eleutherococcus senecosis, otherwise known as Siberian ginseng which was the start of all this. And at any rate, uh, various countries now have discovered that some of their most powerful natural supplements, like ashwagandha in India, Panax ginseng in Korea, Eleutherococcus in uh, Russia, and of course, Ganoderma lucidum in China and Malaysia, uh, are all found to be powerful adaptogens. Now, what the Soviets were looking for were substances that could somehow help protect the body, in other words, to help the body adapt to extreme stresses in a variety of ways. And stress in all its forms, emotional, financial, metabolic, oxidative, chemical, bombard our lives 24-7 in the air we breathe, the junk foods we eat, the artificial beverages we drink, if I had to give any of you out there a tip to help improve the health of your families in one day, get soda pop out of your lives and with it phony, phony substances like Gatorade. Uh, these things are in no way are good for health in my estimation and I believe are substantially damaging factors in our, in our environment. But the drugs we take, the chemical lotions we put on our skin, and the rapid-fire emotional onslaught of television, computers, and cell phones, a toxic soup that surrounds us and even interferes with sleep, our body's many times desperate attempt daily to tune out and heal itself. And here's a lady that looks like she has a little stress in her life, a normal working lady. Uh, maybe not quite normal, but uh, it looks like she has some problems. Next slide is our wonderful new cookbook, not ours, but I mean one that's out there, the Twinkies Cookbook, 50 Ways to Eat Your Twinkies. And I couldn't even believe it, but recently I heard of a new deep fat fried Twinkie, which is the new twist. And I can't even believe that, that here this stuff that's kind of like a sponge you dip into this toxic grease, fry it for a while, and then you're supposed to consume this gut bomb. But at any rate, that's the stuff we're surrounded with in our markets. And I've said many times that the real health foods in all markets are around the edge of the market. They're in the fresh fruits, the fresh vegetables, the fresh dairy, the fresh meats, the, the raw nuts, and the whole grains. And uh, even though I probably would start a movement to, to bulldoze out the 18 middle sections in every supermarket, I don't think it would be widely accepted. Uh, adaptogens are not in the food we normally eat and must be taken as supplements. They are not drugs and have no side effects. They are unique among nutrients and work at the cellular level to restore, rebalance, and re-energize stress cells and organs. Thus, adaptogens work powerfully to take abnormal cell function and move it towards normal. Now, I can't emphasize how powerful and important those words are and what you see on that slide. Uh, but um, of, of the 29,000, and I'm sure by now it's 30,000 nutritional supplements that occur in the nutritional marketplace, I've examined the large categories of all of these, and I've tried hundreds myself and with friends. I consider the adaptogens to be number one on the list of the most important substances on planet Earth to help us stay healthy, uh, create long life, and keep us free of disease as much as possible. But they are restorers, rebalancers, and re-energizers for cells and organs. The good news is that Ganoderma lucidum is a superior adaptogen, and Gano XL is the world's largest producer of quality organic Ganoderma lucidum. And here are a couple pictures from our own um, growth facility in Malaysia uh, showing these things grown in a GMP-compliant facility, which means good manufacturing 
practices by FDA standards in this country. Uh, it's organic and it is very tightly controlled to avoid any contamination. Uh, here's a little bit more of a close-up of one of these things. And they're a, it's an amazing fruiting body, as they call it, in this particular mushroom. It comes out with this very shiny glaze on it that just looks like it's been varnished. But in that remarkable red mushroom uh, is still, I believe, the number one health substance that occurs in the natural world of adaptogens. So Ganoderma lucidum, to finish this talk, is still, I believe, the herb of immortality, the medicine of kings and emperors, the ultimate adaptogen tonic, and a power food of the ages. So this finishes my talk for this evening, and I want to be sure you're all um, uh, not kept over time. And I'll just finish by saying that one of Dr. Breckman's uh, early studies was that he felt that that, that Western medicine was too dependent on pharmaceutical substances and therefore too restrictive. He felt that these pharmaceutical or drug isolates, which the pharmaceutical companies could patent and sell as individual products, uh, comprised a very limited amount of atomic structural information that affected gene function. And by the pharmaceutical industry selecting only those drug synthetics which they could produce by patents, the American medical consumer receives only a small fraction of the world's healing compounds. I hope that gives you just a little clue of why something that is, consists of hundreds of interesting health-giving chemicals in Ganoderma lucidum uh, has been of such interest to me and I believe will be of increasing interest to the health profession as we become more and more integrated in our Western concepts with those that have existed in Eastern medicine for so long. So I want to thank you all for participating with us tonight. And Shane, back to you. Thanks a lot, and uh, thanks, everyone, for taking the time to call in to hear about the power food of the ages with Dr. Kroll. Hope you enjoyed that, and have a great night.